my favorite memories of Mike was he and I were going to a meeting. It was in New York in this building on the 30th floor. And there were two young consultants 30, 40 feet away. Mike walked over and shook their hands and said, hi, my name is Mike. How do you like Faxa? That was so refreshing. We had an opportunity at a new client in San Francisco. They wanted information or content outside of the workstation. Mike was the original developer of Universal Screening, and he figured out that, well, if I took Universal Screening and turned it on its side, we could deliver large amounts of data. We were driving into San Francisco, and he gets into my Jeep, and he pops open his laptop, and he started typing into his keyboard. And I'm driving and talking about the meeting, and I looked over and I said, what are you doing? And he said, well, I'm compiling the code. Well, I got to see if this is going to work. I don't know if we can do this. Lo and behold, it worked. And I think what struck me about it was that Mike didn't care about hierarchy. He took it upon himself to fly out and do whatever it was to make it happen. You know, that down to earth, hey, let's win. We're going to win this together. It was the New York Halle party in 2004. At the time, I was a pretty junior consultant, and Mike came over to talk to us. And of course, we got a little nervous, and you know, here's the president of our company. And so he was genuinely inquiring about what was going on at our accounts. We assumed that you know he was being polite um, and wasn't really gonna listen too much to the details of some issue we were having. Well, we were really wrong. <laughs> when we got to the office, we had an email waiting for us from Mike that he had stayed up all night thinking about the issue and came up with a solution. We were amazed at how the president of our company cared so much about us as, as employees and, of course, for our clients. To me, when people say, what are facts and values, I think, you know, the very easy way to describe it, it's Mike to Christina. To receive the letter um, of the news of Mike D's passing was heartbreaking. It was like a family member. Um, he was a family member. He was a FactSet family member. So, yeah, it was heartbreaking. Somebody who you looked up to, somebody who invested a lot in the effort of the company that I care so deeply about, knowing that he's not going to be around, knowing that I don't get to send that email, don't get to pick up that phone, it, it just leaves a hole. I got called when it was very near the end, and I will never, ever forget <sighs> hugging him as I, as I left. And he hugged me, and he said, don't forget about me. And it just struck me as so the, the essence of his humility, because here we are creating all this film and this award about him, and he's wanting to be remembered when all we do is remember him daily. You hear a lot about him, and the, the myths, they're not myths. I mean, he really was a brilliant, intelligent, welcoming, warming, caring person. He, he was talented in almost anything he decided to do. When you ask um, any engineer who's been here for a long time what drew them to Faxet, almost to a one, you'll hear them say that they joined Faxet because of Mike. And that was certainly true for me. People think of him as this engineer, but he was really a, kind of a renaissance man. He had all these paintings that he had done. The art and the writing and the, the blogs he created, and he kept developing these passions as he went along. To the person who wins the Mike D. Christina Values Award. The first thing I would say, you know, good luck. <laughs> it's a huge, huge legacy, right? Congratulations, job well done. The values that Mike brought to the company continue to carry on. One of the things I remember saying is when I face a tough decision as CEO, I would think about what Mike would do in that situation. <laughs>